what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today is a story time <laughs> if this is your first video i don't normally do that i'm sorry this is the story that actually let's back up okay i tried to film this like last saturday and i went to upload um the footage onto my computer and start editing it it was nowhere to be found two of the files were broken that told the complete story and the only thing I was left with was the outro that I filmed. Yeah, I was pretty upset, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, a lot has been going on since Halloween. It's been constant chaos. To top it all off, my best friend is about to give birth to her first baby and she asked me to be there. So her due date was like two days ago. Whatever, you get the point. It's just been chaotic. Now that all of that has been said, I want to show you guys this cute sweatshirt I am wearing. So I went to a Five Seconds of Summer concert. It's only like my fourth time seeing them. It's fine, it's like no big deal. I've always had to drive two, three, four hours to go see them. They finally came to my home city. I didn't think that I was gonna go because they were opening for the Chainsmokers when they sell out arenas. I have no idea why they were opening for an irrelevant band. That's the tea, sis. So we went and it was a blast. Just like it always is, I finally got some new merch that I'm gonna show you. I got this bright orange sweatshirt. It is like neon orange. It says five sauce right here. It says five sauce down the arm. In red, it has the tour dates on my sleeve. I got told I looked like a construction worker by my mom, but it's fine. <laughs> that is the longest intro I think I've ever filmed. Can I just want to, can I get on into the video? Okay, cool. And I realized I wanted to do weddings and I wanted to do makeup. I had done makeup for a couple of friends, you know, obviously on myself a lot. I would do people's proms. I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to uh, pack my kit, what to put in my kit, you get the point. I watched a ton of videos on just tips and tricks and do's and don'ts and I was ready. I bought every single concealer color you can think of. I bought every color corrector I needed. I bought all kinds of setting powder, whatever. I bought every single thing. I had things like this. I bought a ton of these. These are BH Cosmetics. This is like a blush palette. So it matches every single s skin tone. And then I bought things like this. I had a ton of these. You know. I bought a ton of these NYX liquid. It's never going to focus. But it's like the NYX liquid suede. Like a liquid lipstick. I have them in like full size. And I bought every shade you can think of. These, the little mini ones are my personal ones. Back to my story, you get my point. I was prepared. So on to my first booking of a wedding. This, this girl contacted me about one or two months probably before her wedding, which is not the best time because it barely leaves room for a trial run, but it's fine. So I text her about a day or two before the wedding and I just wanted to confirm that um, I was doing only her makeup. She said, no, you're doing my bridesmaids and my mom and my flower girl. And I said, okay, the price changes with that. And she's like, yeah, whatever works, like whatever packages you have, whatever. I was like, okay, how many bridesmaids do you have? She said she had six. I was doing eight full applications and then a, and then a uh, flower girl application, which is pretty much just um, maybe a tiny bit of concealer, blush, and mascara. So I asked her what time the wedding started and what time that she needs to be ready. And I was trying to get all these details from her. She goes to tell me that wedding's at five. And I said, okay, um, what time do you need to be ready? And she said, wedding's at five. So I sat there and I was just thinking like, you need to take pictures beforehand probably. Are you having a first look? Um, what time are you getting into your dress? You have to have hair done as well. Like all these things come into play. So I text her back and I said, 
when are you getting into your dress? Are you taking pictures? Are you doing first look? And I, I told her all these things and I guess she wasn't even thinking because she was like, oh yeah, we're doing pictures and a first look. Um, I don't know when though, probably just whenever you're done. And I was like, what, what time do you want me there? Like, what time am I starting? I have to have so, I have to have like this time frame to like get all these people done. So I need to make sure you're ready by a certain time. Please just give me a time. So there was a lot of confusion before the wedding, which was not a good sign. It was definitely a red flag. I should have went in knowing that, that it was, that it was going to be a little bumpy of a wedding, but it was my first wedding and I didn't know. So I definitely know now. So we go on to text more and more and I told her that I need to have a certain amount of hours. Let's just say like 9 a.m., maybe 8 a.m. They wanted to have a small break in between uh, for lunch for them all to eat together as well. So I added on an extra hour for that. And I, I think I told them about 8 a.m. So she texted me back and said, I was thinking more like noon. I have eight people to do. They probably all need to be ready around 3 p.m. to get the pictures and the first look and all of that. So that gives me three hours. Actually, whatever time they get done with lunch and then two and a half hours, whatever it is. I tried to be really polite with her and I was just like, um, sorry, I definitely need more time than that. Um, is there any way I can come around eight or nine? And, you know, I'll start on your bridesmaids first so you don't have to wake up that early, whatever, it doesn't matter. She told me no again because everyone was going to be hung over and not gonna wanna wake up that early. And I said, listen, I can show up at the time you're telling me to and I can get them all done, but it's not going to look how you want it to look. I'm gonna be able to spend like 20 minutes on each person, maybe not even that. I can get it done. And now if that's what you want me to do, foundations won't be matched. Um, you know, things probably won't be blended. I will try my hardest, but it's not going, that's not enough time for me. Especially with an outdoor wedding, you can see every single detail of your makeup in outdoor wedding and yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, she was having an outdoor wedding. <laughs> so she texts me back, finally, after like an hour later, and she said, okay, just come whenever you need to. I think we figured out later that night, I think it was the night before the wedding, um, the venue wasn't going to let us in until 10. So my dad owned his own office, and it was fairly close to the venue. Um, <laughs> I asked two of the bridesmaids to meet me at my dad's office at a certain time and we would get their makeup out of the way and then at 10 a.m. we could both or we could all three go up to the venue to finish everyone's makeup. So I get there about 45 minutes early. I set up my ring light, I set a chair up, you know, making sure it's face like the lighting was really good. I set out my kit all on my dad's desk. It's like makeup is everywhere. So I think I told them around 8 a.m. and that rolls around and they're not there. So I text the bride and I was like, hey, they're not here. You know, can you give me their number? Maybe they're lost. I'll send them my location. She gives me their numbers and I text them and they were like, oh yeah, we're leaving the house right now. And that's pretty much all they said. And I was like, great. They overslept and they forgot. So I sat there, 9 a.m. rolls around and they show up, I get their makeup done as fast as I can. They were actually super nice. They were the two that didn't make me want to cry. <laughs> so I get them done and it's 10 a.m. I did them in 30 minutes. I was super proud of myself, which now I can totally do bridesmaids in 30 minutes like that. But then I didn't know. I didn't know how long it was going to take me. And I wanted everything to be just perfect. I also want to mention that how nervous I was. I do my makeup all the time. I literally had to make a list in my phone on my notes of like makeup in order. Like, you know, make sure she's moisturized, primer, foundation, concealer, powder. And it just, yeah, I think about that now and I think it's kind of silly, but at the time when I would practice on my sister and like 
try to do it in record time and make sure that I had everything done. I would get everything done, but I would forget her eyebrows. That's how nervous I was. I didn't want to forget anything. Back to the story. So we get to the venue and I didn't know how to act professional. I'd never done this before, but I wanted people to believe that I had. I didn't want them to know that it was my first wedding because I didn't want them to, their confidence in me to just disappear and I didn't want them to get nervous. I had enough confidence in myself that I was going to get it done. I get there and I set up in a cute little dressing room. Um, to the side there's a, a long bar with chairs and it's just lined with mirrors and lights. If you walk out of that room there's a hallway. All the way at the end of the hallway is the groomsmen room, the groomsmen dressing room, whatever you want to call it. There's a bathroom and then on the opposite side of the hallway there is just this other random room. It kind of had some kids toys in it. Okay, so I set up my stuff in the corner making sure that I am far away. I get my light ready, I turn it on, I have everything ready to go and the mom walks in. <sighs> the mom. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. She walks in and she looks me up and down twice and she kind of has this smirk like a I don't even know I walk up to her and I hold out my hand mind okay this is literally like a movie I hold out my hand to shake her hand and I said hi I'm Katie I'm your makeup artist for today um, how are you doing you know such a beautiful day for a wedding I don't know what I said but I was trying to sound professional she didn't shake my hand she looks me up and down again and said, mm-hmm. So I pulled my hand back and I just kind of like combed through my hair and I was like, okay, this is great, you know. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to just walk away. As she's about to walk out the door, I said, am I set up okay? Like, is my station fine? Am I in, am I in the way at all? I don't want to be in the way. And she turns back around and she's just kind of staring. And she kind of looks over at my kid and looks back at me and she said, I'll show you where you need to be. So I followed her into the room that had the random toys in it. And I grabbed my stuff and I hauled it into that other room and I went to turn on the light and the light doesn't work. This room is completely dark except at the very top of one wall, there's like long rectangle windows just at the very top. So I opened those blinds to try to get in as much light as I could, which it did help. And then I turned my ring light on, which was also, it helped a lot. I wanted to try to get as much light as I could because it was an outdoor wedding. Onto the good stuff, onto the bridesmaids makeup. That went well. There were some weird comments made to me like, how old are you? I forgot to mention this was about two years ago. Um, so I was just now about to turn 20. So I got all of the bridesmaids makeup done. I pulled the flower girl in there and I put, you know, that only took about 10 minutes. I did her makeup and she actually needed her hair curled. And so I was like, oh, no worries. I'll do it really fast while I'm waiting on the next person or something. So I curled her hair as well. So on to the mom. I walked to the bathroom for something. Oh, I was cleaning my little mel, my what? my little metal palette that I had that I would pour like liquid foundations and concealers and stuff on. And it's not very big at all. I was just right there. So the mom's sitting in the seat where I have for, for her to sit and her friend walks in, maybe, maybe her sister or like the aunt or something. They're talking and I guess she didn't know that I was just right there. She looks up at her sister or I, I, that's who I was guessing it was. And she goes, If I don't like a single thing on my face, I'm not paying her for today. Okay, awesome. How do I even walk back in there? I walked back in there a couple minutes later, acting like I didn't hear anything. I gave her a handheld mirror. She was like, what's this? And I said, a mirror, Durr. I said, have you ever gotten your makeup done before by someone? And she said, no. Sorry guys, I'm fixing my necklace. It, I don't know why it keeps twisting. I'm just sitting here. What the heck? Okay. I asked her if she had gotten her makeup done before. She said no. And I said, okay, well, let you know what I'm doing. You can look at it in any time. Don't be afraid to like, tell me to fix something if you need me to. I'm here 
to help you look how you want to, you know. I, as I was doing her makeup, she was holding it up the entire time. And I felt like every time I would come over here to like do something to her face, she would like move the mirror over where I couldn't even see. And she was like looking and then I'd try to come over here and just like try to stay out of her way. Then she would like come over here with the mirror and I felt like she was doing it on purpose at first. I wanted to cry. <laughs> I am not confrontational, but I'm definitely more confrontational now than I was two years ago, if that makes any sense. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to tell her like, hey, can you please put that down or you know, whatever. So I just dealt with it. And finally she went ahead and stopped what she was doing. I just made sure, like I just kept smiling. I just kept doing her makeup and I guess she realized that it wasn't bothering me and so she stopped like a child would do. She was in such a mood. I, It was a stressful day, it's fine. She looked in the mirror and she was okay with it. She was like, okay, yeah, I like it. Can you add a little bit more blush or whatever? And so I did and she got up and that was it. On to the bride. So I'm doing her makeup, everything's going great. We were getting it done. I was super proud of what I was doing. Um, I remembered her eyebrows. I colored, I filled, not colored in. I filled in her eyebrows really nicely. Um, the contour looked nice, the blush looked nice, everything looked really good. I'm getting down to her eyeliner and I also want to mention that every single bridesmaid except for the maid of honor. So there were five bridesmaids in there in this tiny room with me watching like all around us. The mom was in the doorway, I guess, you know, the girl I mentioned earlier was like this, the aunt or something. She was also in there. And then there was like a couple of grandmas in there and they were all wanting to watch this bride get her makeup done for her wedding day. And I could barely even move so much that I couldn't even like walk around her to like make sure things were looking good, you know, moving the light. So I'm really close to the bride's face, doing her eyeliner, like really concentrating, making sure I'm doing it well. She wanted bold eyeliner. And so I'm really trying to make sure it's looking good. The maid of honor comes in, it's her older sister, and she starts yelling. I don't remember the bride's name, let's just call her Stacy. Um, and let's call the maid of honor, let's call her M Mandy. Yeah, Mandy. So Mandy comes in, she came in yelling, Stacy, how many marshmallows do you want in the bowl for your s'mores bar? And Stacy sat there and she was like, um, it, it doesn't matter, like, just fill up the bowl. Okay, that would have been the most reasonable answer. I would have given that answer. It's a very dumb question. <laughs> Mandy didn't like that sarcastic answer and she starts yelling even louder and cussing her out on her wedding day. And here I am, little old me, trying to concentrate on her eyeliner. Mandy gets closer to Stacy and she's kind of in her face now. Uh, don't talk to me like that, cussing her out. Um, I'm not even gonna get into all of like what she said to her on her wedding day, called her like five different names. I wanted to cry for her. She just sat there and took it. She was yelling like, don't talk to me like that. I'm trying to help. How many marshmallows do you want in your bowl for the s'mores bar? I was thinking, okay, this is, this is a joke. Like, it has to be a joke, right? And everyone's just sitting there staring, watching. It's awkward. I back up now because Mandy's in Stacy's face and she's yelling and yelling and yelling. How many do you want? How many do you want? Excuse me, Stacy's yelling back at her now. Um, you know, it doesn't matter, just fill it up. I probably won't even get a s'mores. S'more, s'mores? Do you add an S if it's a single s'more? Whatever. And I wanted to butt in, but it wasn't my place. Like if the mom behind me was just sitting there watching and she wasn't going to butt in, it definitely wasn't my place to butt in. I don't even know any of these people. It really doesn't matter how many marshmallows you want in a bowl. Like, I, it sounds made up, but I cannot make this up. This would be, this is like, Full on movie. It's like a maid of honor. Zilla. I sat there and I was just like, um, I'm gonna, 
I'm just gonna be over here. Just come get me when you're ready to resume the makeup. It was just back and forth. How many do you want? I don't care, it doesn't matter. How many do you want? Finally, the bride, Stacy, yelled out a number, like 72 or whatever, and she was like, finally, that's all I needed from you, and stormed out. So everything went back to normal. So I just kind of picked up my little eyeliner again and started doing her makeup again. And that was that. Um, no one even talked about it. No, everyone just sat there like robots watching them do this for like probably three or four minutes. It was insane. It was so long. I wanted to cry. That was like the fifth time that day that I wanted to cry. <laughs> um, I kind of just sat there and contemplated on if this was going to be my last wedding or not. <laughs> that if I spent all of this money on this new kit and if this is how weddings are going to be i never want to do them ever again but if you thought that was it my friends you are mistaken there is more i get everyone done okay i am about to pack up my stuff and walk out i have half of my stuff packed up and the bride comes in and she said hey katie um my friend just got here and she never wears makeup and I convinced her to wear makeup for my wedding to you know whatever and she's like she was the I think she was a server or something she wasn't really in the wedding I was like yeah sure again I'm not confrontational so I just said yeah sure even though it's been what all day long and I haven't eaten but it's okay she pulls her in here and she was like oh thank you so much I'll pay you for this, don't worry. I was like, no, it's fine. Like I'm getting paid for it, I guess. So it's fine. It turned out great though. It tur I work well under pressure, I guess. I feel like the mom said something else to me like right before I left. I can't remember what it was. In conclusion, worst day, worst wedding I think I've ever done. I think it was good that I did. I got my horrible one out of the way first. I would like to mention that the wedding turned out so cute and I saw pictures and videos and her makeup looked bomb. That is my story of how I became a makeup artist and contemplated on if I ever wanted to do it ever again. <laughs> I don't do weddings anymore because I found out that I need a license to keep doing makeup like that professionally. So I went to school. That is one of the main reasons that I started school. If this is your very first video, hi, I'm in school, whatever. I've mentioned it before. I probably always mention, hey, I'm in school because if I'm not filming or I'm not like hanging out with my husband and dogs, I'm at school and that's just that. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time of me wanting to cry over and over again and being treated bad. <laughs> I have a couple more um, makeup artist horror stories if you guys want to hear them. They're probably not as long, but yeah, if you guys want to hear those of how I, I'm not confrontational and I just take it, then um, yeah, subscribe to my channel and you'll probably see those soon. <laughs> if this is your first video and you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. I want to start posting every Saturday. And that is why last week I tried, you know, posting and editing all Saturday. And then when those files broke, I was like, you know what, whatever. I'll just try to post at the beginning of next week and then maybe again on Saturday. So we will see how the week goes. I might be holding a baby by the time you see this. I'm not sure. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.